Bhagavad Gita, text 4.5 The Lord of Sri said, Arjuna, both of us have passed through many births. I know all of them, whereas you, subduer of enemies, do not. Krishna addresses his disciple in this verse as Arjuna, because he considers that Arjuna's questions betrays the ignorance of a tree. Krishna considers him to be covered with ignorance, like the well-known Arjuna tree. Footnote 5 See Srimad Bhagavatam 10.10 for a description of the ignorance of the Arjuna tree in Krishna Lila. It is a deciduous tree found throughout India. Its bark has been used in Ayurvedic medicine for over three centuries, primarily as a cardiac tonic. Krishna considers him to be covered with ignorance, like the well-known Arjuna tree, albeit by Krishna's own divine arrangement. Here, Arjuna represents all illusioned jiva souls who are ignorant of the nature and background of their own birth and more so that of others. By addressing Arjuna as Parantapa, slayer of enemies, Krishna indicates that Arjuna has become further deluded. He is seeing in terms of illusory differences and thus thinking he has enemies to destroy and friends to protect. Madhusudana Saraswati comments that to these two addresses, Arjuna and Parantapa, the twofold nature of Maya Shakti is explained. Abharanatmika, initial covering, and Rakshepatmika, distorting influence. The thoughts and actions of one covered by ignorance are distorted. The address Arjuna indicates that Maya covers the soul with ignorance, and the name Parantapa indicates that the soul's subsequent thoughts and actions make for a distorted reality. Baladeva Vidyabhushana says that verses 5 through 14 contain the seeds of chapters 7 through 12, wherein Krishna speaks directly about himself, his opulences, and devotion to himself. A gentleman does not initiate discussion about his own glory without being asked, and thus Arjuna has asked an appropriate question in order that Krishna can begin to do so, and the world can benefit from hearing him speaking about himself. Parantapa also means one who gives to others. Thus we learn of Krishna's omniscience in this verse and next his eternality. And for this we are eternally indebted to Arjuna who has given Krishna the opportunity to enlighten us in this regard.